If you're looking to get into 3D VTubing or you want to get your VR legs in VR chat without needing base stations or expensive mocap suits, then you've probably been looking at review videos for different IMU trackers like Slime VR, Makopi by Sony, and Hedatora X. And I'm sure you've heard other YouTubers mention that the biggest downside to IMU trackers is that you're trading off accuracy for the price. But what if I told you that there is a company that's currently developing IMU IMU trackers that will allow you to jump, kick, and dance in VR games like VRChat, Dance Dash VR, Zenith The Last City, and Blade and Sorcery that isn't going to make you sacrifice any accuracy or take up too much space and is actually affordable. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Refract Technologies Access Lights, the newest VR accessory for gamers and creators. And I'm excited to try these out because Access Light uses a four node system and can provide low latency, real-time tracking, and it has 360 degree coverage, which means I can finally get my VR legs and bully my chat in VR chat like this. Access Light is also compatible with SteamVR, OpenVR, OpenXR, Unity, and Unreal Engine for any developers out there who might be watching this. And you can use it for VTubing! So make sure you keep watching because I have a special surprise for you that I'll talk more about at the end of this video because while I was unboxing this product, I did not expect for them to send me this. Hi Mari, we just wanted to write you a note to thank you for being part of the Access experience. We hope you have a blast playing with our trackers and we can't wait to see your content, which is always a joy to watch. Sincerely, the Access team. And look! They even put a sticker on the back! Hi Hams! Okay, so the Access Light Kit comes with four wireless nodes, a charging dock, four straps, and four silicone pouches. The actual nodes themselves are flat and lightweight, which is nice, but they were dead when they arrived, so I had to charge them for a bit before I could start testing them out. And these nodes are not just wireless, they're also interchangeable, which means you can assign and reassign them to different tracking points. They're dust and water resistant. They also have a built-in haptic feedback motor, which means you can feel every hit and impact. This is gonna be interesting to try out. But that's not the only thing I think is interesting about this product because I forgot to mention that the Access Light Kit comes with a wireless dongle that can support up to 17 nodes. I don't know why they call them dongles. It's kind of a funny name, but yes, that's right. 17 nodes can connect to this tiny little rectangle because I refuse to call it the other word because it sounds silly. So if you don't have a lot of USB ports on your computer and you're thinking about buying their Access Standard or Access Pro kit, then you only need to use one dongle for full body tracking. And I would love to try that out in the future. But for now, since I have the light version, let me show you how to set everything up so you can start playing VR games because you can still get full body movements with just four nodes. And I think that's kind of crazy. So once your trackers are done charging, you just need to line them up in this silicone pouch. But I decided to put the pouches on the straps first because I didn't want to drop the nodes since I'm really clumsy and it's embarrassing to admit this, but it took me 30 minutes to figure out how to attach the little silicone thingies onto the straps. So you see this wavy grip side? You want to um, put this against your skin so your trackers don't slide around. And uh, you know, something else about these straps is, um, I, I don't really know how to describe this without showing you what I mean. So I have my lovely assistant here to show you what I mean because we're not exactly skinny or overweight per se, but I was kind of struggling to get the straps around my thighs because I got them big dommy mommy discord kit and kind of thought, no. Anyways, delete that from your memory because they have bigger straps you can order on their website and we did get them to pass the two fingers check so the straps aren't going to cut off any circulation. One thing I really like about using this so far is that it didn't take me that long to set up. All you have to do is download their access control center software, update the firmware for each node, and this only takes a few seconds. And if you're like me and you're planning on using this for VR chat, then you have to download their resource file and paste that in your Steam VR folder, which sounds complicated to do, but they have a very short and straightforward 
straightforward tutorial on their YouTube channel and you'll definitely want to do that first because it's going to make your life so much easier since it basically automatically assigns your trackers to what you want to use them for in Steam VR. Once I got everything connected, I had to make a profile on here specifically for VR chat because I had to set up my nodes differently for VTubing. And something that's really convenient about this software is that you can swap between profiles and it'll automatically assign your nodes to where you had them tracking last time, which makes it a seamless swap between games and VTubing. Something to keep in mind about this product is that the batteries on these last for about four hours, which I know that can sound like a bummer, but you can easily swap each node and reassign them with just a click of a button. And I'm not that hardcore of a VR chat player, you know, like I can barely figure out how to stream this game properly so for someone who's a casual player for these games it's not a big deal breaker for me but it could be if you want to have really long vr sessions so maybe in the future the access team can either develop a battery pack or make these last longer in the future also i've never heard of a program that makes you measure your body parts before and the reason why it's preferred to do that is because remember how i mentioned earlier that the biggest reason why people are hesitant to buy imu trackers is because of how difficult it is to accurately track your body? Well, that's because those trackers don't have anything to reference the position of your body with. But that's what makes Axis stand out. It can actually calculate your body position with more precision because it utilizes your body measurements. And if you want the trackers to be even more accurate, then you can download their free Access Hub app on your Android phone and clip it to your belt and then enable their hip tracker because this will allow you to have more more like positional tracking without a PC VR headset. But there's, mm, there's a huge downside to that and it could possibly be the biggest deal breaker if you're thinking about buying this product because their Access Hub app only works for Android. So if you're an iPhone user like me, then you won't be able to download the app, which was a little disappointing for me because as a VTuber, the best face tracking I can get is with an iPhone. So I've never bothered to buy any Android phones. However, as long as you have an Android that has like eight, which is like Oreo, then the Access Hub app will work on it. And I'm pretty sure you can buy a phone that has this for really cheap. So maybe I'll do that in like a future video to test it out. But since I'm using their Access Lite kit, I don't need to use a phone to enjoy my VR games and I can still VTube with this. But there are some caveats for the VTuber side of things because obviously you can only do so much with four tracking points and no Android phone for hip tracking. So with that being said, how does it look using this? Honestly, after I had started calibrating it, it worked just fine for me. I didn't have any issues with it for like, um, I don't know, I wanna say about like five minutes. And then while I was dancing around, I don't know if like I moved around too fast or what had happened, but somehow I made the program crash. And I think it's because maybe I had the dongle plugged into the wrong USB slot. So once I restarted the application, it worked just fine after that. So I decided to test it in like another world to see what I was able to do. I kind of took a look around and I was like, okay, well maybe I can just kind of like lay down in the bed, but um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not, I'm kind of a noob when it comes to VR chat, so I couldn't sit down in the bed because I don't think I configured my play floor or play area uh, correctly. And normally I have like this little movie tool that like moves me up and down, but uh, that wasn't working. So I decided to just sit on the floor to kind of test out how the leg movements work. And honestly, for the most part, it was really really good. I was able to like move my legs around. I was able to sit cross-legged. At one point when I was trying to sit cross-legged, it kind of like got a little confused on where my legs were. But again, I just think that's because I didn't have my play area configured properly like I should have. But overall, I didn't notice any issues and it pretty much tracked my entire movements one for one. Like I didn't notice any lag. I didn't notice any like weird movements in general. And honestly, it's just kind of cool to be able to like sit down like this and just kind of hang out and vibe. I'm actually very excited to start doing more VR chat streams like this, especially if I can just sit down and like actually look like I'm sitting. Do I think the pros outweigh the cons? Honestly, yeah, for the price that they're currently offering, which right now you can pre-order their Access Lite Kit for $248 USD, it's a lot more affordable than some of these other IMU tracker options out there. 
Personally, I don't like using my VR headset for more than two hours because it hurts my face. And also, I don't stream for more than three hours typically depending on what it is I'm doing. So while the battery life isn't a big deal breaker for me, I don't think this product is for someone who wants to have incredibly long VR sessions. I think this product is great for people like me who are casual VR gamers but would still like an immersive experience where again, I can bully my chat on stream, and I really like how easy it is to set everything up and start playing. Now, if you stuck around until the end like I asked, then here's a cookie, and I have a surprise for you. I mentioned earlier that you can pre-order the Access Light Kit for only $248, but that was for the super early bird pre-registration pricing. And since the release of this video, that is currently unavailable. So the new deal is $288, but if you use my code, mine's about $62 USD off of your entire order. This code is only valid for the purchase of the light, and it's going to be valid from the 8th of February of 2024 till the 15th of April 2024. So if you want to try it out, then you can use my code and click the link in the description of this video. I think I'm actually going to play some more VR games on stream because it's so much more immersive when you can move your legs. I know it's not a requirement in order to enjoy these games, but I don't know, I really like beating up my chat in VR our chat so I'm gonna try using this more and see what I can do. So what do you think about access? If you'd like me or PM Chan to make any step-by-step -step tutorials on all the different ways you can utilize access for VTubing specifically then let me know in the comments down below and we'll try to answer your questions in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and remember everything reminds you of something. Bye! Where are we? We're in a dark scary wet alleyway now and I don't have a gun but if I did this is where you get robbed if you don't subscribe to my channel. You know what I'm gonna do if you don't subscribe? I'm gonna take off my jacket! <clears throat>